So in this video, we are going to see about the restart uh, instruction sequence. So normally, a restart RST it consists of three mission cycles. So before that, we will see just a little bit uh, again an introduction to the main interrupt. So this is the main program, and when an interrupt, when the program is executing, assume that a device is asking for some service. At this point, it may be disturbed. So when it is disturbed, what it has to do? That will be given in a memory. Okay, this is also in the main memory only. So at some other point of the main memory, it, this also the service routine also will be stored. So this will be when this occurs, the microprocessor jumps to this. Before doing that, the next memory location will be pushed into the stack, and it goes there. Then uh, uh, here it returns to the main program after it completes that. Before that, it enable uh, enable the flip flops, interrupt flip flops, and the control return to the main program. And from there, where it has been disturbed, it stop executing. So this is what the uh, restart sequence will do. Now, an RST will consist of three machine cycles. So what are the machine cycles? First, the microprocessor. The first machine cycle, the microprocessor sends the INTA signal, interrupt acknowledge signal. While INTA is active, the microprocessor reads the data lines expecting to receive from the interrupting. So when INTA interrupt acknowledge is active, it start reading data from the the interrupted device and the opcode for the specific RST instruction. Now, if you see this, this is a timing diagram. Here. Uh, As uh, interrupt is high, so then the interrupt acknowledge it goes low, indicating that uh, it 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 acknowledge the interrupted device. So this is the clock signal, and three machine cycles. As I said, M1, M2, M3. The M1 consists of up to T, that is six uh, T states, where uh, since uh, this RST is uh, when uh, this A to A15, A0 to A7. This is a lower order bit of the program counter value is placed, and higher order uh, that is from the program counter, the higher order value is placed in A to A15. Then, when the interrupt is acknowledged, then this RST uh, instruction is placed. Then, what happens in these three T cycles? It starts uh, reading the data. Okay. From the, it starts reading the data. Uh, uh, it initiates reading of the data. Then by the time in the second and third machine cycles, the 16-bit address, that is, after this, this is a 16-bit address, the next location, that will be saved in the stack. So that is what here we are seeing. M2 in a higher order is placed on the A to A15 stack or a higher order. Then the A D0 to A D7, the lower order is placed in the first T1. So address latch enable go size saying that the data here is an address and then the lower order address is placed as a data in the data bus. Okay, then in the next mission cycle, the again, uh, the stack pointer is moved, uh, that is it is decreased and then uh, those the uh, memory location of the stack pointer is placed here. And in the T2 of M3, the next lower order, that is the higher order is placed in the first M2, and uh, this is the lower order is placed in this. Uh, then the higher order, the higher order is placed in M2 here. Okay, so now this will be, and then once it is placed, it will be pushed into the stack that is placed in the stack. So this is how. The, this is the timing diagram of an RSC. That is why it needs three mission cycles. 